Okay, Michael with Jellyfish Lighting. We've got Anthony. He is going to teach us how to connect a secondary power supply to a controller and run a line off the secondary power supply. Okay. First thing I would do after mounting the controllers, I would take the line coming out of the power supply and these two ports where your green and white wire are, you wanna match that right over here on the controller. That's a pretty tiny screwdriver. You gotta have a pretty small screwdriver to do this. Yes, you do. Now I would take the home run that's going to be going from the controller to the lights. Now we're gonna connect our power to power, which is red to red. To the crimp. connect your black to black which is your ground but you're also going to put your green with it because we're doing a standard yes and not transmitting now we're going to take the white and put the white to white A standard hookup. Okay. And then you can show us how you connect the light as normal. <clears throat> now connect red to red, which is the line with the red stripe on the light. You want to make sure your arrow is going in the right direction away from your line. connect your communication which is your center wire on the light to your white wire now you take your ground which is your black to your last wire and you tie in your green as well And so if we were reviewing this, you're, you're actually using a standard 16-4 here, but kind of dual purpose. You're using the green and white wires to connect the two boxes together. And then you're using the black and red as your ground and your power to actually come over here and tie the, the line out to your lights together. That's where you're drawing your ground and your power from is the secondary power supply. And then your communication is jumping out to your light. And just like you connected it to the last one. Perfect. <laughs>